morning and welcome to Utopia Farms. Uh, I don't know if you can see that it's snowing, but it is. Today's the day the cold snap's supposed to be coming in. It's supposed to go to minus 25. Oh, buddy, what were you doing over here? We're going to the barn. Come on, you'll get warm in there. One thing I noticed when I was just putting some mail in the box this morning is that in Canada, you have to walk carefully for the conditions. So right now, this snow is on the driveway and everywhere, but under the snow, it's uh, pure ice again. So when you're walking where the ground is smooth, it's like walking like a little shuffling baby or um, something like you have to walk so carefully. And you're always searching for that uh, puffy snow or a piece of grass sticking out so that you don't wipe totally out. Like right now, I'm walking over grass, so it's pretty easy. And now I've got a 50-foot stretch of pure ice with a little snow over top. Now, some snow over top of the ice makes it sticky and gives you traction. But today, the snow is just uh, making it super greasy. So, it's the little baby steps, and lifting your feet up, don't drag. <laughs> yeah, the things we have to put up with. But, uh, I got some more towels with me this morning, and, uh, we had some more lambs last night. So, we'll head into the barn and check out how they're doing and how all the others are doing. So let's go on inside. Oop. Pretty well made it to the barn. So before we go in the barn, I'll show you what Arnie left me. He went to the market today with a load of lambs. And this was our milk replacer, which is very expensive. It's the colostrum one. And look at that. Mice got in two bags. And uh, totally destroyed all that. Luckily, I have a stash of it up on the shelves, which all seems intact. But yeah, I guess we gotta keep uh, Buddy in here overnight to stop mice getting in stuff. Okay, so I gave everybody water, and the ewes are all fed. Now it's time to go through and uh, feed all the lambs that need feeding. And uh, just check everybody out before I head on over to the coveralls. Um, I see we have some new sheep in here. This is the old guy. He's looking at me crying, but he actually looks in really nice shape. We had uh, twin dorsets over here. And it looks like a single stop is over there and one over here too. So we'll go check those in a second, as soon as these guys are finished drinking. Okay, I'm in the pen with the last uh, Utah lamb. This Well, she was first thing this morning, just before Arnie left. So uh, he put her in a jug, but he didn't have time to check her. So uh, these guys are still wet. Um, there are two big lambs, a boy. He's a boy, and there's a girl on the other side. I'll show you her in a second. Um, he, he was crying, so I uh, took some milk off her and uh, put some in a bottle just so he'd uh, have some milk. Um, one thing we do every time a ewe comes into the jug is we uh, grab both teats and give a little squeeze. <laughs> To make sure milk comes out. See that? Milk came out of that one. There's a female. And there, came out of that one too. Now, that one I had a little tug. And see that? There was a little plug on the end of hers. And uh, when I did the other one earlier, it had a little plug too. And it could be why the, the lambs hadn't uh, 
were hungry. Maybe they uh, sucked and didn't get the plug out. But it's always a thing to check. That plug comes out really easily with the pressure. And then the, the milk is flowing. But um, these are two strong lambs. Hi, you're really nice, I see. She's very friendly. Um, I haven't scanned her yet. We'll scan her now to see who she is and mark her down. But uh, I know that she's got milk, so, so that's the main thing. And I know that they're strong and healthy lambs. So there should be no problems in this pen. I read her, which is working. Hi, Mommy. There. And she is um, a three-year-old. You? From one of our, from our Jordan Ram. She's a nice girl. Actually really friendly too, so she must be a pet. So I'm gonna mark her down. And on my book here. And the reason I keep book cup backups is because, yes, the readers do go down. So, she's, her tag number is three, two, three, and her tattoo number is 36F. So that way, if she lost her tag, I can still read the tattoo. She's a registered Suffolk. I will go into the barn to find out who she was bred to. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to see how she's done for us in the past. So I'm going to look at her history. And I'm going to look at her progeny. So, okay, so today is the 10th. On the 15th, she had a ULAM of uh, January last year. And another ewe lamb, so she had twins. And she had twins this year. And her very first time lambing, she had a single. Which tends to be the normal trend. So we never we never say, oh crap, if uh, a first timer has a single. Because inevitably, it works out in the wash. So um, now all I have to do is uh, mark her on her back. And... As you've seen, when I shoot pictures of the lambs, I'll say, oh, look at all the boy. There's a bunch of boys. There's a girl. I don't have to be close uh, to figure that out because I can see it right on the back by the colors we use and stuff. So she is the 39th U to lamb. So we're going to write three and a dot because she's got a girl. And we're going to put a nine and a green dot. So red indicates girl, green indicates boy. Each dot represents how many lambs she has. So if she only had a single female, it would be 39 all in red with just one dot. You guys get the idea. So um, I'm gonna leave this jug uh, because I feel confident everything's good here. And I'm gonna move over to this next jug where we had a dorset with two lambs, and we'll uh, see what she has, her information has to tell us. Another thing I forgot to mention about this ewe that we just uh, did all that work with is that she passed her placenta already. Um, always like it when they pass the placentas quickly uh, because it usually means that uh, everything's flowing well, and she's a healthy ewe. You don't want them to retain a placenta, which uh, sometimes can happen, so we'll put that in the wheelbarrow for disposal. Some ewes try to eat it. We don't really want them to eat it. Uh, they, they actually can choke, and it's kind of gross. So um, They eat it. I think it's um, a survival thing again If uh, from the days when they were lambing in the pasture, or if people do do pasture lambing, um, the moms would be eating the placentas, which... Uh, would stop uh, predators from, from coming in because the smell in the af from the afterbirth and the blood and stuff like that is something that would lure in predators. So if mom ate it, um, then that uh, lure is removed and her lambs will be safer. I can't guarantee that that's the truth, but I'm guessing that that's how nature would work. 
So I'm in the Dorset pen now. And unlike uh, the Suffolk, who is very approachable, this uh, ewe is not approachable. Uh, she's a little wild, so I don't want her lambs to be trampled. But I see that that lamb is on. That's a female. And I'll see what this little guy is. Hi, buddy. How you doing under here? You found the, the cave already, I see. What are you? That's your tail. Oh. But you are a little boy. You are a little boy. That's a good thing. <coughs> Just uh, managed to grab her teeth a little bit there. I don't want mommy to run over the lamb. But some there, I got milk off that one for sure. And milk off that one too. Okay. Sometimes if you just do it really quietly, um, when the lamb's kind of standing beside her, they you can kind of fool them into uh, thinking that maybe the lamb is nursing and it's not you tugging on them. Okay, so we'll get her recorded and uh, we'll move on to the next one. So I checked her out. Um, she is a first timer and had twin lambs, but she's an older first timer, one that we held back a little longer before we bred her. So um, that's uh, good for her. Like I said, she's a little bit of a nervous sheep. I find Dorsets do tend to be much more nervous than Suffolk. So uh, when I went to read her, she did a dive under the feeder. So she's, she's hiding under there. Um, but she's got milk, she's recorded, marked, um, and these guys should be good to go too. And we'll head on to the next one. Mm -hmm. And for the last you, just, uh, red hair. She's got a real big bruiser lamb. Hi, sweetheart. You're a real bruiser. Very pretty. Yeah, you're very pretty. Very pretty. Of course, he's a boy, but boy. I swear this was a week old lamb. He's uh, extremely nice. Extremely nice. Yes, you are. But he's from uh, t a really good... She's from a really good mother and a really good father. And we'll see who this uh, guy's from too. But good genetics behind this guy. And uh, she's got milk. She's marked. He's doing good. And that's all the lambs born last night. So we'll move on to the next uh, jobs we have this morning. So we're in the heifer barn, just checking to see if anybody's in labor. Um, they're looking pretty quiet. Got one laying here. Let's see, she's chewing her cud. Well, come on, chew it. She really is chewing her cud. Sheep that are going to... Oh, there she goes. Sheep in labor don't chew their cud. So uh, we know she's okay. This girl was laying back here too. So I thought maybe something suspicious. But she uh, got up and had a good stretch. So she was just having a well-deserved rest. And she's, uh, that's a beautiful you. That's what I like a Suffolk head to look like. See how the ears are uh, tipped up at the end? Long, hanging down like wings. Uh, long, long face usually means long body, which is what we aim for. Wide muzzle usually means uh, they're going to be a wide sheep and they can eat, uh, eat better which means they will grow better and faster. And uh, she's got good spacing between her legs. Uh, she's a very well put together you. And she makes Suffolk type as well. You're lovely, just lovely. And on the Dorset side here, um, everybody's all spaced out, as in distancing themselves, not as in they're crazy. And uh, 
Usually that's an indicator that nobody in the pen is lambing at the moment. Hi. Hi, how you doing? You didn't have a lemmy yet. We're waiting for yours. So we'll finish this uh, barn off, clean the drinker, and uh, knock down the salt minerals. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. Coming to say hello? You gonna have a lammy soon? Oh, I think you might. Yeah. Yeah. I think you look like the mom who was crazy. Earlier on, that was your sister, maybe. Hopefully you're not crazy, because you look very calm. So, uh... I'll finish this off and head over to the cover. I'll see what's going on there. So when I do morning chores, I like to do things in order. It's maybe a bit anal, maybe a little bit OCD. But um, first thing to me is uh, getting all the use uh, watered and fed. That way they're <laughs> occupied so I can look at the lambs and... For those guys, I will feed um, the two little white guys first because they're screaming, which makes me makes it hard to concentrate on my chores and the little guy across from them. And uh, then I start going like this. Today you saw I started with uh, the newborn lambs because uh, now I got to make sure they're all okay. And uh, once I do that. I go to check to make sure that nobody's lambing. We've done that. So the barn is totally fine except for the older lambs. So now all the more critical things are done so I can take time to look at uh, the lambs who maybe I'm uh, looking after, like Hunchy here. So we're in Hunchy's pen. Hunchy, we're still giving her drugs on the off chance that that's going to help. And we're going to pull her out of here because they like to hide in there. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? And uh, she does seem a lot brighter. Um, and sister's looking bright. Hi. Hi. Sister says, why are we staying in here? And uh, it looks like she might want a bottle. Uh, really awkward, but uh, she is taking a bottle. Really good sign. Because she's, I've been tubing her. And uh, eating is a sure sign that she's recovering or feeling better at least. And hopefully she'll graduate from that to sucking off her own mom and they can go out. Okay, we're at the lamb coverall now. Um, as you can see, Arnie left um, our loading ramp and all the catch pens for loading here and... Our keeper rams are back there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble all this right now. And as a treat, I'm gonna let those ram lambs out to play. So these are all the keeper rams. They were just out for a romp and they just came tearing back in. Hi you guys. Hi you guys, come on out again. Come on out. Did you chase them in? I thought I thought they were having a mad half hour. Hi. Doesn't look like anyone left. 44. Is that all of them? And I and did one uh, try to escape when you were here or afterwards? Why? Well, because one of these guys was in this pen. How could that be? I don't know. He was in there. You sure he had a red dot on? Yep. Well, how got all that? Well, he had an orange. Oh, this is all open? Uh, no. Yeah, this is all open. No, but they were all behind that gate back there. No, he probably got through. Oh. <laughs> well, he had an orange dot, not a red dot. Oh, yeah. But orange dot is uh, purebred. The others have all done? Nope. But the main barn's done. <laughs> it was just taking me forever today because I had a lot to do. And I thought I'd get this all fancy and all the gates down for you. Well, I just would have left it. I was going to have lunch and then we come back out. And Arnie's back from the sales barn before I even finish chores. That's how busy it is when it's just one person working. 
So uh, the Rams had their romp. They're back in. And uh, these are the Ulams. Hey girls. How you doing? So we'll end the morning with a look at the new lambs in the coveralls. One of them managed to get under the feeder because there's some cracks underneath that uh, we usually stiff, st stick straw in. And I uh, guess so. Uh, one of them found the hole and was on the ram side, screaming and crying. But we got it back. Hi guys, you guys look good today. It's a cold day, but uh, we always put the lambs on the south side of the barn first. So it's actually really warm in here. No steam, no steam, eh? Yeah, no steam. Tomorrow is supposed to be um, our cold days. We're just having a little snap. It's supposed to be a minus 25 high day. So normally we'd bring over lamb, another group of lambs today. But I, I'm i thinking we might be waiting till the day after just to get the cold snap done. But to be honest, it's quite warm in here. They'd probably do just fine. See what the boss says. Okay, off for lunch. And tomorrow is supposed to be um, our cold days. We're just having a little snap. It's supposed to be a minus 25 high day. So normally we'd bring over lamb, another group of lambs today, but I, I'm thinking we might be waiting till the day after just to get the cold snap done. But be honest it's quite warm in here they'd probably do just fine see what the boss says okay off for lunch so this is the night check Arnie just let a you with her two lambs out Jerry I don't have any food for you. you had you had enough today Cause you're supposed to be weaned. <coughs> so. <coughs> everybody's been fed and ready for bed. There's a little bit of fighting going on in the Dorset pen because we just put a U in there and she doesn't like anybody else near her lambs. This is the lamb that was adopted by her, the one that's hopping around. She's doing good. And Half Face's lamb is back with her because the mom didn't like that lamb after all. So she's happy to have her lamb back. It's always worth, worth, worth a try, but uh, lately we haven't been having good luck with adopting. So she's got a single. This one's going out tonight or tomorrow. Hunchy. There's Hunchy. Hey, Hunchy. Hey, Hunchy, are you kind of come out of the cave? I just fed him a bit of a bottle. She's definitely not a great nurser, but you can see that she's looking a little more bright. Uh, far from the sharpest knife in the drawer. But uh, we gave her penicillin tonight instead of tetracycline because we were told that that may make a more of a difference, more of an impact on her recovery. So at this nah. point, anything is worth a try. And she is looking better. I have to say that. And this is the big new guy. He's nursing, so I don't have to do anything with him tonight. Kevin and Karen have been fed. They think it's fun to eat with that. Adult you. Hi. Her guy's doing actually good. He's under there sleeping. All these guys are sleeping because it is bedtime now. See? 
Hey. All sleepy faces. So, we're closing the door, and that's it for another day. Bye for now.